Let's get right to it. The number of lies being told about this space is astounding. Every day I see more and more lies. Let's kill some of them right now. An entry-level job in the world means no experience. Nope, no it does not. Entry-level in the real world means one to two years of experience. Machine learning is all about math. Nope. No, it's about data. No data skills, no job. The only math we use is applied statistics, and that's it. Coursera, edX, and Data Camp, and all those other scam sites are good for learning machine learning. Nope. Did you know there hasn't been a single confirmed hire on any of these platforms into any real-world machine learning job? Not one. Projects are going to help my resume. Nope. No, they won't. I've been at this for a long time. I've worked at several top tech companies, and I've never seen a hiring manager look at anyone's projects or GitHub account. The interview process hasn't changed in decades, and it won't. You get a phone screen, a sanity interview, and a tech interview. That's how it works. Now, there are some companies like Big Tech that do make you do a bunch of other nonsense, but that's not how most real-world companies work. You should put certificates of completion on your resume. Not a good idea. Again, the last few companies I've worked at, we use filters to filter out anyone that had certificates of completion on their resumes. This next one just continues to amaze me. A degree is going to get me a job. Nonsense. If that were true, then why are there literally hundreds of thousands of jobs open for machine learning engineers right now? The number of jobs are rising, and so are the number of people working at Starbucks with a master's degree. There are entry-level jobs in machine learning. No, this is a lie. No sane company is going to hire someone with no skills to build their production models. That's not going to happen. Here's another one I see all the time. Machine learning engineers and faker scientists write their own models. No. No, they don't. Companies use well-vetted frameworks like TensorFlow and libraries like XGBoost. Lastly, ChatGPT is going to replace data professionals. <laughs> no, no, it won't. In the real world, we don't take this toy seriously. It's not something IT professionals use. I created LogicBot for two reasons. One, to help people transition to a machine learning engineering role that are already in a data role. And in a data role, I mean heavy SQL. Number two, train those who aren't in an entry-level role as a data analyst. The data analyst is the only entry-level data role I know of. Companies are looking for skills. You either have them or you don't. You either understand what certifications are and their importance, or you don't. The truth is, you don't have that many options. Companies are looking for very specific skill sets, and without them, you're not going to be working in any data role. There is a recipe, and you must follow it if you want to work in any real-world data role. Then move to data engineering or machine learning engineering later on. LogicBot has that recipe. You need to follow it and learn the skills and gain the certs necessary. It's that simple. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day. We'll see you soon.